So in this video, we're going to actually add the item to SKU Grid. I will be using the same item we just looked at in the previous video. And to add the item to SKU Grid, you will go to My Items, which is on the left. And then you will find this button, Add Single Item, and you will click on that button, which will give you the screen. The first part is the reference ID. The reference ID is actually the SKU that you came up with for the product. So I can actually keep my Amazon listing open here and copy the SKU from here and paste it right here. We then have the supplier link. And since I have my item open at the supplier, I will simply take the link, the URL, and copy it. I will go back over to my items and I will paste that link. This section is for variations. However, this item does not have any variations. So there's no reason for me to fetch the variations. You then have to choose your sell in marketplace, which in this case, I only have one, which is Amazon USA. And that's where I'm selling the item. So I select Amazon USA marketplace. And then last but not least is the marketplace ID, which in the case of Amazon is the Amazon ASIN. So you will then go back to your Amazon listing, take your ASIN from here, copy, place the ASIN in the marketplace ID field. And that's it. All you have to do here is look it over, make sure everything matches properly because remember, SKU grid, as far as the listing goes, it only knows what you give it. If you give it the wrong ASIN, it will be matching the wrong item, right, with the wrong supplier link. So you just make sure this stuff is correct. However, since we left everything open, pretty sure it's correct, right, because we copied it straight from here and we copied it straight from here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So the item will now be saved onto SKU grid. So at this point, you'll see that the um, not all of the information has been pulled in yet. And so it does take some time. I've used uh, quite a number of these programs and it does take time for these programs to scrape the data from the supplier and bring that data into the system. And this is why I suggested in the previous video that you could leave your quantity for Amazon you could put your quantity at zero when you first list the item. So that way, it, we will give SKUGRID a chance to script the information from the supplier and let SKUGRID put the item in stock. Now that the item I've done listed, uh, added, now that I'm done adding the item to SKUGRID, at this point, I would just go ahead and click save and finish and let the item be listed onto Amazon.